Uh, next, I want to prove the limit law for addition. And it goes like this. If I have the limit of x goes to a of f of x plus g of x equals the limit as x goes to a of f of x plus the limit as x goes to a of g of x, so long as all these limits exist. All right, so to prove this, you always start out with this statement. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. Then the thing that I want to make less than epsilon is this creature. The absolute value of f of x plus g of x minus, in parentheses, l sub f plus l sub g, and as before, uh, l sub f and l sub g represent the limits of f and g, respectively. Well, I'll just rearrange things here. I'll put f of x minus l sub f plus g of x minus l sub g, all in absolute value. I'm going to break this up according to the triangle inequality because I have that plus sign right there in the middle. This is going to be less than or equal to f of x. Mess that one up. f of x minus l sub f plus the absolute value of g of x minus l sub g. Now, what I'm going to try to do, this whole thing, I want to turn out to be less than epsilon. After I write some steps, let me put dots here to represent those steps. At the very end, I'm going to get less than epsilon. So, it seems to me like if I could make this piece less than epsilon over 2, and then this piece also less than epsilon over 2, the two of them will add up to be epsilon. All right, so let's see if I can make that happen. <clears throat> well, because the limit of f of x equals lf, so since the limit as x goes to a, f of x equals lf, there is a delta sub 1 greater than 0 with 0 less than x minus a in absolute value less than delta 1 implying that f of x minus l sub f is less than epsilon over 2. Similarly, since the limit as x goes to a of g of x equals l sub g, there is a number delta 2 greater than 0 with 0 less than x minus a in absolute value less than delta 2, implying that the absolute value of f of x minus l, I'm sorry, g of x minus l sub g is also less than epsilon over 2. So then, I want to let delta, this is the one you're always supposed to be finding, equal the minimum 
between delta 1 and delta 2. So, when I go back to this inequality that I had, let me just grab this part here. I just want this piece and th these pieces up here. So let me grab those. I'll, I'll just be writing. We had the absolute value of f of x plus g of x minus the quantity l sub f plus l sub g in absolute value is less than or equal to the absolute value of f of x minus l sub f plus the absolute value of g of x minus l sub g and that is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2. This is because when I chose the delta to be the minimum between these two, then when I take care of the f of x part, this single delta will satisfy the delta 1 part since it's less than or equal to it. So that's how I get an epsilon over 2 there. Same thing for the other piece. However, that one, the g of x one, deals with delta 2, and since I'm taking the minimum of these two things, delta is also less than or equal to delta 2, so therefore these, this inequality between g of x minus lg and epsilon over 2 holds. Well, together those things end up equaling epsilon, as we wished.